Still five. I couldn't sleep anymore. It was just too noisy around here. <laughs> I think I still did sleep enough because I think I went to sleep like at nine or something. Oh, <sighs> maybe a little bit later. But um, I was able to sleep. It was somewhat cold. I think I should have packed. Um, some with the socks, at least for the evenings. Um, I did not have to build the tent, which is good um, because I'm in the middle of the city. So let me show you where I'm sleeping and let me show you my view. Not bad. Let's go wash myself and make myself a coffee so we can go for the first temple. Apparently they remake these flip-flops every hundred years or so. This temple has been here for a while, what I'm trying to say. Uh, and my book fell down. Um, yeah, I have the 44th. Now I have the water and everything. And this time we will be riding for a while and then we will walk on foot. Um, so let's <laughs> enjoy that. <laughs> See you. We have left the bike behind and we are walking. Whipper bird! Have my cane, I have my hat, and mainly I have water. Well, the only thing that I wish for is that I actually chose the correct path because I don't remember if this was the one, but I think it was. Um, the reason why I'm actually walking, I haven't told you so yet. Um, I met a Canadian dude a few days back 
and he mentioned like that if there's one place to walk it should be this one or towards this temple um, which I'm not against that idea but it's turning into jungle <laughs> I, I just hope that I walk in the right one and I also hope that I don't meet any snakes So this is our map, um, we have started over here, right, and then we walked like so, and now we are here. Um, this would be the fastest one, but as far as I understood, if you go from above, um, it's supposed to be very beautiful. Um, it will bring us over here where there's somewhere in here is the temple and There's a bus stop the bus seemed a little bit pricey So we'll see how that goes and Maybe I will try to hitchhike all the way back here for the bike um, So let's go It's so much more pleasant climbing hills without having to push the 20 kilo slut that is my bike. <sighs> so ladies and gentlemen, um, this was our second milestone. We are on top of the hill um, and now we will basically just continue this way um, but since it's second milestone we deserve a treat right so I have I know it will be weird but I have dry fish um, never had it before if you don't smell it, it actually tastes good. Um, it tastes like salty, sweet fish. Um, no bones, which is good. Um, I have to thank for that to, to the lovely Japanese guy that I met a while back and I had beers with him. Um, so yeah, I will continue with my fishes. Fish. Um, and then we will move on and I will show you again when something interesting appears. One would think what a small, small guy but it doesn't matter if you have view like this lucky dude
to the temple. My battery is almost dead. And now I just have to figure out how to get back to my bicycle. Um, there should be some bus. I will try to hitchhike. Hopefully that will go a little bit smoother. Otherwise I will have to most likely wait. I don't want to wait for a few hours or something. So I would have to walk and I don't want to walk on a pavement. Um, so again, I suppose wish me luck and see you at the other side. Well, wouldn't you know it, the spirit of pilgrim is strong with this one. Um, I'm back at my bike. I was able to stop some old couple that was just leaving uh, and they were nice enough to take me here. So I will pack my shit up, uh, change myself into shorts, maybe pee a little bit and then we can head on. It's it's a uh, quarter past 10 and we have another 40 kilometers in front of us. So that was interesting and the temple in the in the mountains was very pretty. So I'm, I'm happy that I actually walked. Uh, so thanks anonymous Canadian guy, I don't want to mention you. <laughs> Um, it was very random. I was just driving by. There was a older lady coming across the street. She was like, "Hey, what okay, coffee, coffee." So I was like, "Okay, let's go." Uh, it was like an alternative to a guy in a white van giving you candy, but this time it was actually a normal person. Uh, the inside was very nice. Like you could have seen that she was very much into the whole Shikoku pilgrimage and for a, for a good reason she actually went the whole thing twice once 40 years ago and once 20 years ago so like it must have been a very different experience 40 years ago definitely even the 20 and she gave me Castella I, I haven't had it since I came to Japan so if you haven't had it yet try to find out in your local area where to buy Castella because like that is heaven anyway um what awaits me now is 12 km of downhill. I don't know if my brake will last because the rear brake feels like it's already burned out. Um, so we'll see what happens. Well, last view from up here because now I will have to put you back on the handlebars because my back brake is not working at all. And I will have to start using the front one as well, which is not ideal. Well, uh, now we will have a first person view. I'm going 17 and I'm basically holding the brake. Like full on stop me brake kind of thing. Uh, that should tell you how steep this thing is and how bad my brake is. What you will see. Let me try to turn around. They're right in front of me, and these two guys. Right? And there's few there in the field. And it was the same thing when I was uh, at that old, old lady's house. Like, she had a lot of them in front of the house. And I've seen it a few times around Japan as well, like, I don't know the meaning, uh, but like with what I, what she said and with what I've seen and heard from people, like my conclusion is that this is just so, it feels a little bit lively, 
the villages. I might be wrong, it might be just to chase off, you know, crows or pigs or whatever. But... I don't know, there's something sad about this because like it feels like the villages just have one old person there that's working the field and just so they don't feel lonely they have these guys around which is crazy at least that's my point of view I might be absolutely wrong and if I am I will be very happy but on a sad part yes even the old lady said so Especially during Corona, like before Corona there was a lot of people going around, you know, the same as in any other country But on the Shikoku, on the pilgrimage there was more people, foreigners and everyone And during the Corona there was no one, so Her words, she just felt very lonely because there was no one there And like if you're in a village, the only person there, then like you're the only person there, it must be very lonely So, um, this is a temple 48, I'm going for 49 until 51 and then I'm done for today. Um, but I'm still surprised by, by the kindness of people towards the Henros. Um, <laughs> some lady just gave me 500 yen and a drink. Um, I'm grateful. Well, today is extremely exhausting day and I suppose people can see it because I got another Osetai, this time candy, which is nice of them. Um, also I just cannot be a proper judge of it, but everyone saying that I have a good Japanese, I doubt that. I think they are just too polite to say that I suck. <laughs> anyway. Let's go, I think we have one more maybe and then we will go for our hostel um, and some dinner. I would love some meat but I would be happy with ramen or anything else. Let's go. So my friends, this was the last one of today, number 51, 51 is beautiful honestly, um, but it was tough, I had, I was done, I was doing a lot of thinking honestly, and I have to admit, like physically, it will get me to, to the mindset that, that I wanted to, 
um, on the bicycle I mean where it, you just get that blank clear mind without thinking while you're able to think um, but I have to admit if, if you're doing this it is better to do it on foot I would say you, you still get the benefit of being tired because you walk the whole day like depends right but 30 40 kilometers per day it will get you to the exhausted mindset but at the same time you will be more able to enjoy the temples I think because you will each time have for example like an hour or more than five hours between each temple but if you do it on a bicycle and you get to the cities it's like just it, it, it's just a grind and something um, for you if you're here uh, they are selling grilled mochi um, so I bought few of those uh, look at this no idea how it tastes but it looks awesome so grilled mochi here we come also I think I dropped the GoPro for the first time uh, anyone who has GoPro you have to buy the uh, protective glass on it it saved my my lens so yes ah. well hope you liked it um, I know that I'm not uploading every day so um, if you haven't seen the previous episodes why don't you try to click here or here you will see and if this episode is not the latest one I'm sure there's links somewhere for the next episode so you can uh, look at that um, and if you liked it uh, please like and subscribe it will help me out uh, quite a bit uh, and you will not miss any other episodes